It's Monday, September 10th, and I'm Haley Hargis. It's time for your morning announcements. In our top news today, Health Occupations will be sponsoring a blood drive on Tuesday, October 2nd. They're recruiting donors, so please come out and give some blood. Remember, this will help save lives. There will be a field trip October 25th for juniors to attend a Student Leadership Academy at Marshall University. This is a gear up event and seating is very limited. If you want to attend this event, you must register online. You can do that by going to www.wvgearup.org and clicking on the link that says sign up for school and regional events. Please register ASAP because seating is very limited and is already filling up. FCA Marshall Game Day will be October 27th at the Marshall UCF football game. The price for the event, which includes game ticket, pre-game rally, tailgating, transportation, and t-shirt is $30. Permission slips are available in Mr. Ice's room, 2109, and are due by September 28th. The FCA will be sponsoring See You at the Pole on Wednesday, September 26th. This event, which will be done at thousands of schools across America, will begin at 9 o'clock. We invite all students and staff to come join with us and millions across USA and Canada in a time of prayer. The fall production for LCHS Theater will be The Little Theater's Production of Hamlet by Jean Batlow, a West Virginia native from McDowell County. The play is a dramatic comedy about a small town who hires a director from New York to help them present Shakespeare's Hamlet at the local diner. Auditions will be posted this week and held later next week. Rehearsals will be held after school Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The play will be November 5th through the 11th. And in sports news, we would like to congratulate the girls volleyball team on their win over Logan last week. They will be playing tonight at Taze Valley Christian and at home tomorrow night against Main High School. There will be a golf match today at Sugarwood versus Huntington High, and the boys soccer team will take on St. Albans at 6 in St. Albans. In political news, while the Republicans and Democrats both had a huge showing of support at their conventions the last couple of weeks, we are gearing up for our own class elections and will be covering it all right here and on our Twitter feed. Student government elections are scheduled for Thursday during AA. We will be introducing the candidates for each grade level starting today with the ninth grade candidates for office. On Wednesday the 12th, the two candidates for student body president will be coming onto the grind and giving their election speeches. No matter who you vote for, it is definitely going to be exciting. And with no further ado, here are your ninth grade candidates. I'm Ms. Igo, and with Mrs. Terry, we're going to be working with student government this year. I'm here to introduce to you the ninth grade candidates who will be running for class office, and here they are. I'm Brandon Vince, and I'm running for president. Vote for me. I'm Noah Webb. I'm running for president. Vote for me because I'm the best. I'm Emily Wilson. I'm running for president. Vote for me. I know what the people want. I'm Kelsey Skeens. I'm running for president. Vote for me. I'm Haley Wilson, and I'm running for treasurer. Vote for me, bro. All right, Panthers, don't forget to check us out on our YouTube page or tweet at us at LCHS Pride. Remember, don't use your cell phone during the school day. I was about to die. You guys. <laughs> I'm being stiff.